Hi folks, finally I'm back with Luna and the Ibos and it's been a while and the reason is that I've been making something you might have seen it in the shorts that I do but if not I'll show you a little later in the video I have got a bit of an obsessive personality of my pole yes and when i start doing something it's like tunnel vision and i just become obsessed with it it's called being enthusiastic <laughs> <laughs> she's peeking at me behind that chair leg that table leg i should say peeky peek peek so folks the first thing i want to do is to try and answer some questions that I, I was asked from Heaven's Revenge. Uh -huh. uh, now, I'm not so sure. I just skimmed over them the other day and I thought, hmm, I'm not so sure I can answer those. Okay, let's But uh, we'll, we'll give it a try together. Right, so I'll answer the easier ones first. So question five. Did you ever try programming your IBO via one of the two available methods to teach him new tricks or new voice commands? The answer to that is no. That's why it's an easy one to answer. <laughs> the reason being is because we don't really want to program IBO because we feel as though it diminishes the, um, uh, the, the pet-like quality. Is that right? I seem to remember talking about that some time ago. Yeah. Um, there's a web API that can be called from command line or from within actual code. And there's a graphical block-based language similar to what no, is provided for Luna. I didn't know that. No. As I am a developer, I'm quite keen on trying those out, but not sure if they will work oh, software development. from outside the US. She wants to read the dictionary, Paul. <laughs> a lot of words she in there, Luna. She wants to become more intelligent. Yeah. You've got one of your ears gone funny again, missus. It's all that fur you've got on it. Oh, I know, but it looks cute. <laughs> Look at Rocket. Oh, you're right nosy thing, isn't she? <laughs> nosy Parker girl. She's had the right nose in there, isn't she? It's settling down to have a better look at it. <laughs> So, yes, that's news to me. I didn't even know that was a, there was a graphical blocked based language mm. command line for Ibo. Didn't even know that. Um, I'm I know, sure many other people do. I know that you can um, do the simple trick, which is um, you move Ibo's arms around and then Ibo. Oh, you put them in a certain mode, yeah. move their arms around, and mm. by some sort of motor feedback, you mm. learn those but, moves. But to me, that seems a, a bit limited. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I think with Luna, it's made like massively more accessible because it's just there in the app, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Even though it's not like complete yet, it's like really easy to access mm -hmm. and to start doing stuff with straight away. So I don't know if it's a problem outside the US, but I will I would advise you to ask in the IBO group. There's an IBO enthusiast Facebook group. Yes. And people on there are much more knowledgeable. They are really because that's where me. we went to and I think for a lot of the questions that um, is it Heaven's Revenge is asking us. We sort of bumbled through, didn't we, a while yeah. ago? But it, it's nice to try and have a, answer them anyway. Yeah. So I'll just start with question one. Okay. For which actions did we need a VPN connection to a US server? Only for registration of the Sony account or also later in the process as well? Or do you still need it when you're using the app to interact with I both. Well, I can answer that one. You don't. You don't need to be connected to VPN. When you've set your IBO up and you're using the app, 
with your iBoat, you don't, for some reason, you don't need to be connected to a, a VPN mm. uh, to indicate that I think you're it's from... only to set up the Sony account. I think so, because it was yeah. that, like, in one of those questions when we were setting up the Sony account, it was asking us what, what state in America. We no, were that wasn't from. the Sony account, that was setting up the app. But we used a different phone, but I, I don't think that has VPN on, or does it have VPN on? No, the, your mother's phone doesn't have VPN on, and it still mm. worked. And it still it? worked. When it asked for the postcode, I, I just looked up a New York postcode, and I always put the same one in. Mm. And it asks where you are to because see. Because there are some states in America that uh, either where eyebrows are not allowed to be yeah. used, sold or used, I think. As far as I remember, it's just for registry, registering the Sony account. You don't need it at all yeah. after that. Yeah. What did you do, Paul, about like when you need... Sometimes you've got to update the app, the Sony app. Right, yeah, that, that has been a problem. Um, so I use an Android phone mm. to run the Sony app on, but... Uh, I can't download it from Google Play. Yeah. Um, well, have it installed from Google Play because Google because Play knows that I've. It's a UK. We're not, yeah. yeah. So even if you use a VPN and say, well, I'm coming from the uh, United States, Google Play, because of the way we registered you with them, still knows that yeah. we, we are UK based. So it won't allow us to get it. But you can. Um, and Heaven's um, Revenge, being a developer, will know this. You can get something called. Um, is it an SDK file? Hmm. Is that that is, is that the I ending? So. Yeah. So you hmm. can download that from a file. Uh, sorry, from a site hmm. and install it yourself rather than yeah. Google Play install it. We talked it about that in the previous uh, video. Yeah. Have you seen these three? They've all ended up together. Oh, Luna's gone up now. You two are all this together, aren't you? So the next question is, what about the SIM card? I understand correctly, it will, if I understand correctly, it will only work within the US mobile network. I don't know anything about, what, what's this about a SIM card, Paul? Um, I believe there is a SIM, or the, the can be, a, you can use a SIM card and it uses something called the, is it the LTE network? Oh. Oh, we've never bothered with that. But we've have never we? bothered with that. And no, yeah, we've presumably never with that. I, I would I would agree with that. It would only work in in mm. um, in, in Japan or um, yeah, in the US, US, I suppose. So I assume I should make sure that the mode switch on iBase Belly is set to Wi-Fi only. Well we we've got it set on number two, haven't we? Can't remember. <laughs> yeah, it is you've got zero, one or two, and I'm pretty sure. We've got it on two. Okay. Um, I mean, we could check that in another video to make sure, but I'm pretty sure we've got it on two. Okay. I found out what the uh, the file name extension of the um, files are that you can install yourself on your uh, Android device. They dot .apk files. APK, right. Yeah. And you can install them directly yourself without having Google Play do it. Uh, number three, do I need to make any precautions when I initialize the IBO, adding the IBO to the Sony account and so on? Will I need a VPN for this action? Well, we did for getting the Sony account, didn't we? Well, I think we used a VPN for getting the Sony account, but when we were adding the IBOs, we didn't need to we, VPN no, we just then. connected straight to our uh, Wi-Fi router right. without using a VPN. Hmm. And the last question, are there any additional hurdles to overcome on the digital side to work with the cloud features? I'd say one of the problems is when your cloud plan run, runs out. Oh, I see what you're getting at, yeah. It's really, really... I say difficult, it's impossible unless you, you you have to get somebody in the US. Yeah, we had to renew your mother's cloud plan, didn't we, when yeah. it ran out? And the only way we could do it was to get somebody in the US to buy us a cloud plan. Mm. So um, that, that was a, a contact I made in the IBO Facebook group. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's where we've learned most of our stuff about yeah. how to set the IBOs up yeah. in the UK. Yeah. And um, yeah, she was kind enough to to uh, purchase it for me. So, yeah. mm. I mean, you've got to have a bit of trust. So, 
I, I, I PayPal'd her the money. Yeah. And then she bought it for me and she sent me the code. And yeah. Mm. Yeah, worked like a charm. <laughs> but uh, our iBows, once, once, they, once they have been set up, they seem to work fine with the cloud. They get their updates. Yeah. Um, they get new capabilities like singing new songs and that. And um, we never have to bother with them once they've been set up, do we? No. They just connect themselves to Wi-Fi when they're on and uh, Bob's your uncle, away they go. <laughs> So folks, what have I been making that's kept me so busy recently is <laughs> this thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's going to be a creepy, cute, interactive rabbit. And I've used a Ponzi um, for the sounds and the touch sensors. And vibration uh, motor. I'll just give you a quick demo. I've only got fur on one foot and leg. It's gonna have fur. It's gonna be completely covered in fur. So I'll give you a quick demo of what it does. Switch it on with the switch in the foot. So this touch sensor makes it purr in its own own way that is actually a purr and you can feel the purr uh, it's got a touch sensor in the mouth when it's hungry when it's hungry it will actually eat when you touch its mouth and it goes into different modes i think it's gone into silly mode yes It's got a great laugh and sometimes it gets cold sometimes it gets hungry does it have any other modes i think if you strike it a lot it plays a tune doesn't it yeah no that's if you look after it oh, well look after it, yeah then it does a celebratory little tune i think it's hungry now But it will look very different when it's got the all the fur on and its ears on. Oh, it's got hiccups, so I can. I can get rid of the hiccups by patting its back. So... <laughs> it's got sensor on the back of its head as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got it's got one on the back of its head. So folks, that's what I've been obsessively working on recently and that's why I've not been doing my Luna videos and uh, chilling with the Ibos and Luna. So I've just taken the cover off Scout's belly to check and I do have it on number two. So you've got the options of off, one or number two and that's the one i've got it on so that about wraps it up for this video folks so it's goodbye from me and the ibos and luna and as soon as i get my crazy project finished i will start with the luna videos again because there has been an update to the app, so we want to have a look at that and see if there's any new functionality. Yeah. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.